Next up, we have Steve with ClearCom. Hey, everybody. All right. Thanks for having me. My name is Steve Watanabe. I'm a product marketing manager here with ClearCom. Uh, quick intro, we were founded in 1968 in San Francisco, and our headquarters is actually still up in the Bay Area. It's just over in Alameda, so over on the Oakland side. Uh, we were purchased by HM Electronics about 10 years ago, and this is their building in Carlsbad, California. We're in northern San Diego. And at this facility, at this building, this is where ClearCom does the bulk of our engineering as well as all of our manufacturing. Uh, from a sales perspective, we cover the, the globe out of the US, the UK, Germany, Canada, China, Abu Dhabi, and Singapore. So recent products. So FreeSpeak Edge is our new five gigahertz uh, communication system that's wireless. Uh, overall, we launched FreeSpeak Edge a couple of years ago. Uh, the antennas and belt packs were available through the Eclipse matrix frame and everybody was kind of asking, well, are you gonna have a base station so it's a little bit easier to use? And sure enough, here we go. So a couple months ago, we launched this, the base station. Uh, the great thing about the base station is it actually supports all three frequencies for our wireless communication through FreeSpeak. So it works on 1.9, 2.4, and 5 gigahertz. You can use that all at the same time, and you can mix uh, both the Edge and FreeSpeak 2 bell packs so all those frequencies can be heard all at the same time. Uh, we have some interoperability of eight ports of Dante or AES67 for those third-party devices. And from a configuration standpoint, we just use a browser-based system. Uh, you just type the IP address in, of the base into a browser and off you go. If you don't have a computer available, you can even use the touchscreen menus right at the front of the panel to uh, configure your needs. Arcadia Central Station, we also launched just a few months ago, and it's kind of the bigger brother to the edge base. Uh, the differences here as far as how it looks, I know it looks very much the same. Uh, you have a gooseneck microphone that can be added, as well as a speaker over to the right. And so with that, you now have a user station, so you can have that sitting on your desk and communicate with the rest of your crew. Uh, the bigger differences here, uh, a lot of this stuff is the same. Same thing with the, all the frequency supports and uh, the third-party Dante and AES67 devices. But the difference is the density. So up to 96 licensable ports. The base version comes as a 32 port. And as your needs grow from an intercom perspective or communications, you can add licenses in 16 port chunks. Uh, on the back, you still also have ports for party lines. So two wire for Encore, or if you want to connect to RTS, uh, you can do that as well for analog party line. And then coming up next year, we'll be introducing our digital IP. Uh, uh, well, HelixNet is already out, but you'll have that capability for digital IP party line early next year. Uh, from a capacity standpoint, you can get 10 FreeSpeak 2 transceivers, 16 edge transceivers, 32 belt packs, again, all the way up to 64 ports of Dante or AES 67, four wire ports for if you want to bring in audio sources like radios or any other audio source, you could pipe it in through four, four wire. Uh, again, two wire for analog party line and then Helix Net coming up next year. Station IC, so in case you have uh, communications that you need to do and you don't have room on your desk for a panel or Arcadia Central Station, you can have communications right on your desktop. Uh, Station IC is basically a virtual client panel that is on your desktop. It works through on, mic on Mac OS or Windows. Uh, you license the system through Eclipse HX matrix frames or an LQ IP interface. You have actually 23 keys of talk and listen and even individual level control. So sometimes channels you listen to are extremely loud and you need to turn them down and sometimes they're quiet and you need to turn them up. Overall, from a look and feel perspective, you can resize it to any size you need. You can see three columns on the left or one column on the right. Uh, the way you use it is you just use your mouse to just click on click and hold on the talk button or the listen button, and you can latch as well. So you could just swipe to the left or right on each of those buttons to latch and then continuously talk and listen. Uh, over at the very top right, you can see a tiny ribbon there. So in case you uh, just have no real estate on your desktop, you can actually choose six favorites 
uh, of the uh, the channels that you talk most on, and then you just type, create a tiny ribbon, put it up in the corner, and you're able to save desktop space. So works terrifically. Uh, recent installations that we've had with ClearCom. Um, I don't know if you guys have been recently to Vegas. I drove through there a couple months ago and I saw uh, the latest casino that they've put up and it's enormous. Uh, it has 3,500 rooms. It's called Resort World. Uh, three different hotels across the Hilton uh, properties. Uh, it has uh, multiple theaters, day clubs, nightclubs. I think the largest theater in there is a 5,000 person capacity. So they use a matrix frame with HelixNet and um, FreeSpeak2 to do communications and productions throughout the piece. They also use Agent IC, and Agent IC is just like Station IC, except for it works on uh, um, your mobile smartphone or on a tablet. So in case you don't have room on your computer, you just move it over to your personal devices and you have that same capability. The London Symphony Orchestra during COVID, uh, they wanted to stream their concerts since they couldn't have audience an audience in attendance. Uh, they started upgrading their communication system by adding LQ, which is an IP interface so that they were able to produce the shows uh, remotely. Uh, as they started to come out of COVID, they, they decided to update the rest of their comms. So they have a pretty, pretty significant uh, ClearCom uh, gear install at that facility. So good for the orchestra. And then last, uh, ITHRA, which is the King Abdul Aziz Center for World Culture in Saudi Arabia. Uh, it is what it says. It's a cultural center. They have libraries, museums. Uh, there's areas for speeches, opera, concerts, and so forth. So uh, they have implemented a significant amount of ClearCom to carry out all of those productions. And uh, it's a really interesting looking uh, center. I'd hope to go there someday and actually see if that's real. I've seen pictures, but it, it looks uh, pretty amazing. It looks like, I don't know, a pile of rocks that somehow turns into a cultural center. But uh, uh, that's about it. Thank you very much. If anybody has any questions about any of what I just discussed, please let me know and uh, I'd be happy to answer. Thank you, Steve. That ISRA Center does look pretty fascinating. Um, thanks for showing us all those.